Good morning, one last time from Tijuana, Mexico. Our romantic weekend in TJ is now over. And uh, as for the surprise competition, Rebecca wins because yours was like three days long and mine was, <laughs> was only one hour and yours encompassed a lot more culture and good times. <laughs> Guys, while we've been down here, we have used several forms of transportation, uh, starting with the regular old taxi cab, and then uh, we also went out and picked up some groceries, and we took one of the red and black kind of shared taxi cab vans, which was uh, really cheap, and then we've used Uber a few times. If you've never used Uber before, I'll put a link below, which will get you your first ride free, and that also gets us free rides, and it's kind of sharing the wealth. And then hands down the most affordable transportation was when we hopped on the city bus. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our little sojourn into Tijuana. Uh, also, you know, a big part of why I chose this destination was because it's really up and coming. They're actually trying to make it a traveler's destination with places you want to eat and places you want to stay and things you want to go do with the CBX uh, airport access and the new uh, border crossings. They've done a lot to make it easier for us to come here as well and hope you realized how much fun we've had and that it's a great place you might want to check out. So if you guys didn't know, Tijuana is one of the busiest border crossings in the world. And by making this new bridge and all the other uh, improvements, it's really taken it to the next level. I'm breaking the law. I hope I don't get in trouble. Okay guys, we're back on the USA side and yeah, that was awesome. They have like 14 lanes. Okay, we're just winging it, but we found this bus that takes you to the trolley. So we thought about having my dad pick us up, but we thought it'd be a good opportunity to share a little bit more of how you can get down here and how you can get back. So we're gonna jump on the trolley next. So the Eastern Port of Entry is right by the trolley station, and I imagine one day there is gonna be a trolley station here. But for now, one dollar to get over there is well worth it. Okay, linea trolley, McDonald's. San Diego doesn't have the world's best public transportation system, but they do have the trolley, and you can get to generalized parts of San Diego. We have to have our ticket before boarding. We need to go to buy our ticket from the station. Bye. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Bye, honey. I just left Ben at the train stop. Oops. Next station. Um, worse yet, I don't have a ticket. So here's where you buy your tickets. All right, well, this isn't so bad. I got up at the next stop. I got my ticket. I'm waiting on Ben. This is kind of the reality of traveling. Things happen, and it's just kind of funny as far as we're concerned. Some people may panic in a situation like this. We laugh it off. Ben's. Uh, trolley will be here in nine minutes it says and I'm hanging out at the Bayer Boulevard stop waiting for him and it's clean and nice place to sit just great so you just roll with it traveling is always interesting and it's all part of the fun and kind of why we love it <laughs> This should be Ben's train. Hey, jump on the board. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Reunited. <laughs> but 
that was so funny. <laughs> Welcome to real life. We got off at the wrong station. One exit down from my dad's house is Massachusetts and I was thinking, oh, Massachusetts will be closer than the Lemon Grove station. No, it's not. Next station, Lemon Grove Depot. Okay guys, we are back. We're gonna catch an Uber for some lunch and uh, then head back to my dad's house. But thanks for riding with us today. Have a great day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow our adventures. You never know where we're going next.